Welcome back to the little house. It's early March and we haven't had you over for weeks. So we're going to try and recap all of February. Come on in. projects have happened since we last talked to you but Nick did put in a cabinet over here in this corner that we never show you because it's been kind of the storage heap Nick put in a cabinet so now it's much less heap and much more organized okay so we have internet in the house and it's because of this little thing right here am I pointing at it yes <laughs> This little thing right here, it's it's not a real specialized piece of equipment. It was sent to us by uh, by a viewer who's a uh, network engineer, and uh, he had some gear sitting around that uh, thought would be helpful. It's just an outdoor access point, so we have 125 feet of uh, Ethernet running back to the yurt where our wireless router is and it's plugged into that and it powers over it also has a uh, a power injector so it powers over ethernet and that just sends out another wireless signal that um, we're able to pick up inside of the house and so that saves us a big infrastructure project of m moving our uh moving where our radio receiver is and and all of that stuff that would be hard to do before the ground thaws. This is, uh, is a nice little um, interim solution bef until we actually move our internet into the house. So hopefully this uh, is a solution that will bring you more video uh, because it is a pain in the butt to go down into the yurt where it's cold to work on uh, uploading videos. So uh, maybe this is the road to uh, more of us. <laughs> anything else you want to say about our life today um, do you want to say that jacob's here or anything like that sure we have family visiting today it is extremely sunny um, which is a good sign because right now we're looking at where solar panels would go and this is kind of the early spring sun that we'll be looking to catch so we're keeping an eye on where it's falling um, it's also nice to see, nice to see the snow piles get smaller and smaller, um, and, uh, we're about to bring on the mud. Mud season is kind of long around here, um, and that's the next phase of, uh, of, uh, fun. <laughs> Honda EU2000i generator. Um, it's been a real workhorse for us. Without um, all of the Dream Solar in place, uh, we've leaned on this thing pretty heavily to charge all of our stuff, charge the little battery banks that we do have, and sort of let us limp along through the winter when the sun is not showing itself. So, um, it has taken a little bit of maintenance to keep it nice and happy. We just did the a new pull cord on it, which educated me quite a bit on the interior of this machine because you got to take all the plastic off. Apparently, the the pull cord chafing and breaking is uh, fairly common. We're going to do a little video on how I um, got that replaced, and um, I do an oil change. Uh, every it's supposed to be every 50 hours or so uh, i definitely go longer than that but uh try and stay on top of it to make it a pretty regular thing it's a festive day at the little house we have a guest my brother is actually here all the way from the midwest and we're celebrating his birthday so of course stella is making her favorite wacky cake cupcakes 16. 
tablespoon of coconut See, and is this grease my Yes, very greased. Okay, so can you get the I slept in the yurt and it was absolutely fantastic. It was, uh, it was out of the wind and the first night the fire was going, it was quite toasty. The second night uh, there was no fire, but it wasn't too bad and it was just kind of like winter camping. I wore a hat for the first part of the night and then once the blankets had warmed up, it was uh, delicious to be sleeping safely guarded by the barking dog and, uh, and with the sounds of creaking trees all around me. It's now March and we are dreaming of spring, but spring is not dreaming of us. We had six inches of fresh snow just the other day. So we're replacing the pull starter cord um, on the Honda generator that we love so much. Uh, we run it quite a lot right now until we um, are generating electricity some other way. Um, but I guess this is fairly common. Uh, about four inches away from the handle, it um, chafes the, the jacket of this cord and uh, starts to break it. So um, you can obviously see we've we've put a bunch of marks in the case as well. But uh, what I have found in my research is that this is not necessarily a problem with um, uh, bad starter pole geometry. Um, it's a design flaw in the in the generator, and we can look at it once we get in there. Okay, so the case is off of there, and um, and now we have to uh, remove the fuel tank and the on-off switch and everything in order to uh, get to where the the actual starter cord goes in right there. So right here, if you can, I'll try and help light it. Right there, where you see the cord going in, that's that four-inch mark. So it sits there and runs, and this does that, and chafes right there, right at the, uh, right where it goes in right there. Hmm. It looks like the same knot. I think that assembly is all ready to go. Okay. So with this guy put all back together, all the pieces on it, uh, it's ready to go back mm -hmm. together. month yet before we have any more projects on the little house but the good news is that when we do we are going to do a season three of mountain dream home so we are going back to that old format that so many people appreciate as soon as there are projects happening you will get to see them and finally the last news from the little house is that our oldest son has gone back to school that was completely his choice we started talking about it right around the, the new year and um, just started thinking about whether or not that was right. He wasn't completely happy doing schoolwork at home and he wasn't seeing enough of his friends. 
So we worked it out. I'm going to school now. At first, we didn't think it was a very good idea, and then we researched my personalities and found out it was a good idea, so now I'm doing it. And I get up earlier, 6 in the morning, and then we ride the bus. An hour-long bus ride, and then we go to school. And why is it a good thing for you to be going to school? Because I'm around my friends, and a person like me <laughs> needs friends pretty often, so... So, okay. that's pretty good. Hi, Sadie. Um, going to school and homeschooling have been pretty good choices. Basically, schooling at all is a good choice. My favorite part about school is um, AR reading. AR reading. AR is that reading. accelerated reader? Accelerated reader. reader. You just like reading. Yeah. Yeah, it's and pretty cool. And then we get that... to take quizzes on them. It's pretty cool that your job is to read, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then answer questions. And I usually get high scores. There's one that was below halfway. Oof. It was not a very interesting book to me, so I kind of skimmed over it. So now I learned to listen about that book. I'm super proud of Milo. He has risen to the challenge. It's a super long day for him compared to what we do at home. He's really enjoying it and uh, it seems worth the work to him. So a, dra a dragon's probably migrated back. The, do the dragons migrate back in the spring? Well, it depends on the species. Fire dragons completely live in another home, but if you're talking Let's say poison dragons, they can always come back to the same spot. Huh. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Dee 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 dee.